In this video, I want to share with you what is LitBase. I want to talk about what happens if you're deficient in it and how do you get it. Now, before I begin, down below, I'm giving away a free video guide all about supplements as well as herbal medicine. Now, LitBase is an enzyme, and that means it's used to convert one thing into something else. When we're born, we have this reserve of enzymes that we're supposed to replenish through eating good, healthy food. The problem is, Cooked foods and processed foods destroy these enzymes, and if you're deficient in it, it can really lead, really lead to some health problems. In fact, it's been estimated that every 10 years, our bodies will create 13% less enzymes. So let's talk about lipase and what the heck it does. Now, lipase's role as an enzyme is to help with digestion by converting, taking fats and convert them into food so they can be absorbed in the intestines and we can use them. Now this not only helps with the food, but also helps with things like fat soluble vitamins, fatty acids as well. So I know what you might be thinking, okay, well what the heck happens if I'm deficient in it? You know, what, what, what's so bad about that? Well it is very, very bad. For example, a deficiency can lead to high cholesterol, high triglyceride levels, as well as difficulty losing weight. And all three of those are very, very bad. Losing weight, yes, that's bad. Cholesterol, heart disease, increases the chance of strokes, hurts in so many different areas, even a guy with his love-making ability. So it's very, very bad. More bad news is that if you're deficient in this enzyme, it really hurts cells. And it hurts the ability of cells to take in nutrients and eliminate waste. That's bad. Another common sign of a deficiency is when someone can have like dizziness, trouble with walking, so let's talk about something more positive and how in the heck do you get more of this enzyme? Now you could get it through eating more fresh foods. Some examples would be like more bananas, avocados, apricots. Now you can do that and I definitely eat as healthy as I can, but let's be realistic. You know, it's hard to eat healthy sometimes. Plus there's something called soil depletion. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but what that means is farmers want to make money so they use chemicals to grow their crops bigger and faster. This helps them make money, but it really hurts the nutritional value of crops. So that is something that is reality. Now another idea, which is what I would recommend you look into, is something like a high quality supplement. Uh, the problem with supplements is that they're confusing and the, the industry is completely unregulated in, in so many countries. And what that means, in a nutshell, is there's a lot of crap out there. And to throw one example your way, a couple of years ago on the Dr. Oz show, they tested all these top supplement brands. And a lot of them had problems. 40% of them had problems with uh, being mislabeled, as well as having some harmful contaminations in them. So that's something to be aware of. And like I mentioned earlier, I do highly encourage you to check out this free video guide I created. It gives you some great tips on shopping for supplements, as well as simplifies herbs, goes over some alternative medicine. Um, I really think it's very valuable to a lot of people, very useful, worth your time. And if you want to learn more, just click on the link uh, below this video that I made for you here. Thank you for, uh, for watching. I uh, hope this video might have been helpful. And uh, please hit the thumbs up button if, uh, if you liked it, okay? Take care. Bye.